highlight at the top. One of these is going to be a half tone. So, you know, I'm going to leave that as paper white. And what you do is you start using these markers and you come in here and you say, okay, that's pretty good. They all go in there a little bit dark. And then here's a five. There's a seven. You see what I'm getting at? Here's a nine, which I didn't tell you to get because it's a little dark, but you can use a nine if you want, okay? All right. Some people use a lot of marker. Some people use very little. So what you do is you come in here and you're gonna go, first I'm gonna draw my armor. So you're gonna come in here and the armor has lots and lots of detail on it, right? And you're gonna wanna obsess about the detail. But really the first thing you do is you just come in here and you do this. You just kind of block it in Here's the turning edge on the outside. Here I'll fill in the dark side. That's kind of a mass in there, and this will make sense to you. Then I might come in and say, well, okay, here's my seven. The seven is the core, right? The seven is here. Highlight. Half tone, and I'm gonna say paper. So next to the white, and then four, seven, nine. Notice how I'm leaving at least 10% between each, right? So I don't go four to five, I go four to six, four to seven, you know, seven to eight would be too close, I go seven to nine, right? Okay, so this is, you know, tone, core, drop. So I'll take my seven, put it in here, And when I'm looking at the armor, it's gonna look shiny, right? I might come in here. Put in, thanks again. That is a great costume, by the way. It's really a great costume. And next time I'm gonna have you tell me how you made it, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so this comes in here. And I basically work with this as much as I want, okay? So you're gonna come in here, maybe I'll put in some fives. Now the five will look like the seven, but it'll dry lighter. The first time you draw the marker down, the first time you draw the marker down is half, half strength, second time is full strength. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start drawing in the highlight in here. And I will leave a little space for the paper for the tone. You see what I mean? So now I draw in the highlight. I can put it on the front. I'll take my Prismacolor pencil. I can start rendering in the darks. And I'm doing it right on top. Now some people, basically they paint the whole thing, right? And you can do that if you want. It's, it's really about, there's no one proper way to do this. See what I'm saying? See how it immediately begins to look reflected? Then I come in here, fill this in some more, okay? Now, here's the thing that I want you to be aware of. Do this first, okay? Then come in and put in the facets in the armor, see? So now this goes like this. You see what I'm talking about? Bring this in. There's the second one. And slightly exaggerate the outside edges. See how I'm slightly exaggerating these outside edges? And you're gonna notice that the armor is gonna have these facets in it. The tendency is gonna to wanna to be to draw the whole thing out and then try to fit all this in between. And that's not very successful. And it's a lot more work. This is actually, just so you know, an industrial drawing technique, okay? So I'm teaching you a little bit of industrial drawing. Sneaky, isn't it? How does this fit into a costume drawing class? Well, armor's a costume. <laughs> All right, okay. 
So we come in here. It also gives me a chance to teach you a little rendering. Just, I just want to make sure you have some of these skills under your belt. So you're really learning something that will be valuable to you in digital painting. You just happen to be learning it in this class. So then we come in here and as we turn away, we might go like this, see? Now you're gonna notice that I can draw over the white with the black pretty successfully. I cannot draw over the black with the, the white successfully, okay? So just keep that in mind as we go forward. And this is sort of what I did here, see? If I wanna nick my armor up, I can come in and start going. See, and it'll start making it look like it has. When you do this, you're giving it some character. That's all you're doing. Okay? And then, let me show you something which is important. When the armor is curling under, and this is true when you're in Peter Hahn's class and you're taking dynamic sketching, see this is the turning edge and that's rolling under. And the light, say, is coming from above, right? Like it usually is. Here is an edge rolling out. The highlight is here, okay? It is not where most people think it is. Most people will put the highlight on the top. I don't know why, but they do, they do. So come in here. I might have a turning edge right here, see? And then that could get darker down there. See how that rolls away? All right? So when you're doing the armor, realize that when you see that line, if, the lights, if that's a seam and the light is coming from the top, the lighter part is underneath, right? So if my light's coming from above and these are my scratches, I may want to come in and just put the darks above, you see? See how that works? If I put them below, I'm reversing the lighting and people will know that you don't know what you're doing. This is a dimple, okay? If I draw a dimple, a dimple is a, you know, so, somewhat subtle variation. So you come in here, this is where it is. This is where it's turning away from the light See? And then down here is where it's starting to face the light again. You see what I mean? And it fades out down here. See what I mean? And that's what a dimple looks like. Okay? Same thing with bullet holes and things like that look like that. Okay? Um, here you're going to have low contrast, medium contrast, and high contrast cylinders. Here's a ribbon, okay, showing you how to do the ribbons. And so what I want you to do for me next week is I want four pieces of armor. You're going to do this assignment twice. The first time it's pieces. So I want you to choose an arm, a glove, look in the armor kit. Don't do the samurai. The samurai is a different thing. The samurai, I'm going to